Hi guys, Jimmy here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and had a good week and looking forward to the weekend ahead. So here you are, I'm in yet another room. There was a reason behind this. So I had all my movies, all of them downstairs in the basement. And over the last few days, we've had a lot of thunderstorms, especially in the evening and it's got very humid. And the basement was starting to feel really damp, really damp. Um, so the one wall that faces the street, um, there's, there's an issue with that wall. I think it's to do with the skylight that comes into it. But my cardboard or paper box sets, they were starting to feel not cold. They were starting to feel a little bit damp. And I noticed some of the J cards were starting to warp on them. So I had to speak to the missus and say, look, I need to take over this cabinet because I need to take all um, the limited editions that are in cardboard boxes out of there because it just wasn't going to work. I could see it getting worse and worse. In fact, one of my cabinets, the um, like the mache wood that they use for backing, which is only like four mil thick, that was getting mouldy as well. And I noticed that on one of them. Um, so I just think the air circulation with what I've got down there isn't working properly. So I had to take all of them out. The steel books are still fine down there um, because they're mainly metal. So that's not too much of a problem. The anrays rays are fine. Um, it's just these ones I noticed that they were starting to look, they were, some of them were starting to show signs that I thought, you know what, I can't take the risk because I've been collecting for so long. So I just took them out of there. Put them up here, but I need to have a really, really good sort out on this. Um, but today I want to show you two editions that I picked up recently. Uh, the first one is one that I've been waiting for ages, which is Shaw Scope Volume 2, the Shaw Brothers. Um, so I've got part one, uh, which was an amazing edition, and then I've got part two to go with it. It was on sale with Amazon. What were they have? They had it down to either 79 or 89 pounds. I can't remember what it was, but I had I bought two things from Amazon recently. Um, one of them was actually John Wick um, part two, wherever that is, somewhere around here. So I ordered this from Amazon and um, they said it was going to be delivered on the Saturday after it came out. And then when I went online on the Tuesday, they literally said to me, oh, we can deliver it to you tomorrow. So I ordered one for tomorrow, cancelled the one from Saturday, but lo and behold, they delivered both to me. So I thought, okay, fair enough then. Uh, and then I had a product that had an issue with it. So they just gave me a full refund on it. Um, and I thought, do you know what? I'd use that refund and then the credit from that to go into this. So I ended up only paying, I think like 20 pounds or something for it. Um, so the refund that I got, so the credit that I got for the uh, damaged item was a big bonus on this one. So I'm gonna unbox this and show you what you get inside volume two. Um, if you like the old school Kung Fu films, these are great, these are great. Volume one was excellent. And I'm so glad I waited for volume two to come down in price. And then I also picked up this Norman Warren collection. So British uh, director, done some films in the 70s and 80s, I think. And this one was a nice little coffin set that come out. Um, I think Indicator, I've got the Indicator box set and it's got all the Blu-rays in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap out the DVDs in here, put the Blu-rays in here and I'm gonna sell that Indicator set um, because I'd rather keep this set. I prefer the look of this one and you get a nice little booklet in there. And I've got that from, um, computer exchange in Stratford so that was quite handy and it's a, it's a nice little addition this is so I prefer this box to the indicator one so I'm going to swap them out and then sell the other one on eBay um, but yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a closer look at Shorescope Volume 2 um, hopefully now I've seen that there's more releases coming out so I will be doing a few more vlogs I think and now I've got this place straightened up a bit more I'll be also able to do some more of my collections that I started to do before. I want to do a couple of them. I've got some in mind that I want to show. But anyway, guys, let's, enough of me chatting on. Let me show you what you get inside Shorescope Volume 2. Okay, guys, so here is what you get inside Shorescope Volume 2. I've already unboxed it um, just to show you, to make it easier to show you rather. So here is the J card, cardboard J card. And as you can see, it has a bundle of films in there. And I know you guys like the languages and so forth. So let me just zoom in there. So it really is absolutely packed solid with um, movies on here and extras. So we're going to start off first of all with, actually let's start off with the out box. The out box is really nice. Here you go, the artwork on here, the colouring is fantastic. And that really pops. Um, this is to me one of Arrow's best releases. It's it's so solid it's unbelievable it's just like part one um they've done a great job on this and in all fairness they, i think the normal price was like 109 pounds and if it wasn't for the fact i knew it wasn't going to sell out well i was very confident it wasn't going to sell out um it would be worth paying that much for it because it is absolutely fantastic the booklet is amazing um and they just give you loads and loads of stills information on the films the productions everything like that um 
it is just how a limited edition should be done. And you can see why it came out at that price, £109. As I said, I wanted the first one for ages and I waited till that one went down in the sale to £79. And I just done the same with this one here. Um, but literally the artwork on there, on all the films, is fantastic. And they do give you good details on all the movies as well. Trivia, the whole lot, um, name that tune. There's a soundtrack um, to these films as well, um, to some of the tracks rather. But you can just see this is really well done. You know, just unbelievable, unbelievable how they've done this one. Well worth the money, well worth the money. This is how I used to spend my Saturday mornings when I was a kid. Go down the shop, rent a VHS video. Yes, rent a VHS video. I think it was 50p um, and I would literally get three or four for the weekend and that would do me. So this is the box with all the goodies in. And again, the artwork is fantastic on here. And then when you open up one of my favourite films when I was a punk kid, The 36th Chamber of Shaolin. I can't tell you how many times I watched this film when I was a kid. Literally, this was one of my go-to films. And then to make matters even, to make matters better, not worse, make, make things better rather, return to the 36th chamber and the dis disciples of 36th chamber. So they've got a series there and they were great films. Mad Monkey Kung Fu and Five Super Fighters. The artwork on the side of these is fantastic. It really is. Invincible Shaolin, the kid with the golden arm. And I'm so glad they kept the original, some of the original movie artwork on here as well. Magnificent Ruffians, Ten Tigers of Kutang. I've said that wrong, but there you go. Could be, yeah, I was going to say Wu-Tang, but it's not. Kutang, my young auntie. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm sure I seen this when I was younger. I'm sure I did. I think it was the actress I remember. Mercenaries from Hong Kong, The Boxer's Omen. And we've got Martial Arts of Shaolin and The Barefooted Kid. And then we've got uh, music from the 36th Chamber of Shaolin, Five Superfighters, Invincible Shaolin and a Kid with the Golden Arm. And so again, they did some soundtracks in there. And then we've got more here. Return to the 36th Chamber of Magnificent Ruffians, Ten Tigers of <laughs> Kutang, <laughs> My Young Auntie, Mercenaries from Hong Kong and the Disciples of the 36th Chamber. So they really have, again, done some excellent work in terms of um, the soundtracks in the movies they got. So this is this was packed solid. And if you're into old school Kung Fu, you can't go too far wrong with the Shaw Brothers Volume 1 and 2. And as I said, normally they're £109. They often go down to, I'm sure it was £79 um, during the sales, especially on Zavi and um, Amazon, like where I got this one. But anyway, guys, any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you on my next vlog.